Okay, I'd like to share with you a Photoshop script that I've called Spiralize. You can get it on GitHub here. I've got a link to it also in my blog. I'm going to demonstrate what the script does using this rectangular image in Photoshop. This is quite a large image, so I think for the sake of efficiency, I'm going to scale it down. 63,000 pixels wide might be a bit much for today. I'm going to scale that down to maybe 10,000. It's still quite a large image and it will demonstrate well what the spiralized script can do. In this case we have an image that showcases a piece of sky through which jet contrails are flowing and I want to turn this into a spiral. So I'm going to use the spiralized script. Let me show it to you in Atom. This is the JavaScript that we are going to run. It's composed of a number of functions like make circle, layer from background, etc. Uh, I can go into the code at some other point. Let's see what the code actually does. In Photoshop, go to File, Scripts, Browse, find the JavaScript file, and load it. It will then split the file into layers, in this case, 11 layers. Each layer is a successively larger chunk of the image. It then stitches those images together in circular fashion. And the result is this kind of a spiral. I've set up the script at the end to chop off the inside and outside edges to create this particular shape. If at this moment I undo a couple of steps, you'll see how that masking actually works. So this is the full spiral that I use as a basis and then it's masked at the end like so. To create the forms that I used in my cloud storage body of work. Uh, you can use this script to convert any rectangle into a spiral. It doesn't have to be clouds. And I hope you make use of it and enjoy it. Thanks for watching.